Right now, it's the Sean Keevney Breakfast Show. We've got a, a guest after nine o'clock, the fabulous pun worthy Darren Walsh. Check him out, he's hilarious. My next guest is thrilled to be here because it means a huge ambition of his has been realised to meet one of his heroes, me. For one of our next guest is a man who has hero worshipped me from a child, a comedian, a writer, a pun dit. A man who has made puns his fun, puns his passion, puns his destiny. His book Cheap Laughs came out last year and now he is at it live with a new show called Punderboat. It's Darren Walsh, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Darren. Good morning, Sean. That was a bit of an exaggeration. Really. <laughs> no, I do have a shrine uh, of you on my mantelpiece, yeah. so... I thought you did. Yes, yeah, I bit. thought... It was, a, it was a weird irony because I was... A, I was stalking you and I looked through your window to see what you were doing and I saw the shrine to me and I thought, this is weird. Yeah, I've got well... got a similar one of you. Yeah, I've got a few photos of you doing your teeth and stuff like that, yeah. so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. But yeah. it, what can... For the, for the uninitiated, Darren, it's fair to say, isn't it, that your empire is built somewhat around the idea of the pun, at this juncture at least. Is it, um, or is it fair to say that? Um, well, originally, I just started doing them to kind of tie all the musical bits of my act together. Because, mm -hmm. uh, like, my show in Edinburgh this year, like, half of it is video, because uh, my background is animation and stuff like that. So I originally just started doing that to kind of, you know, just like, they're kind of like little intervals, but they've kind of grown. Yeah. Uh, so have my audiences. But, uh, it, you know, to kind of take over quite a lot of the show now. But, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of it is based around uh, wordplay. What is, what is a pun? What is a pun? Uh, I don't. I should have looked that up, shouldn't I? I should have looked that up. Let's see if we. Do you know what, what a pun is, is Darren? We, we a, use the word. We we bandy it around. But do we really understand what it means? It's basically just a double meaning. Yeah. Okay. That's it, really. That is the top and bottom of it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So yes, I, I'm not even going to bother looking it up. My dad, for instance, is the king of of the pun, really. And I think I, I genuinely th believe that it's the only reason that I have gainful employment because my dad infected me with this desire to do puns from being very, very young. So he would... And and and, and bad jokes, so which are exactly the same thing. But but that that was where it all started for me. Did, was there a, a, a point that you remember where you, you started to get really into the, the, the idea of it? Um, no, it'd just be kind, kind of like anything I ever hear... I just like, I think of it in my head and then suddenly I just started doing that on stage. So, I mean, I don't sit down and just write them. Okay. Like, I'm literally, I'll overhear a conversation on the tube Yeah. or it's usually at in, inappropriate moments, you know, <laughs> where I shouldn't be thinking of puns like funerals and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, so it's like, because it does seem like that, what, from seeing you, what you do live, you, you do improvise them as well, don't you? Yeah, well, the, the thing is I've written, I think, over two and a half thousand jokes. I mean, obviously of varying quality, but... I'm not actually very good at remembering them. So okay. like, I, I can't sort of stand there <laughs> and do like 20, 20 puns in a row because yeah. I just forget them. So what, what I do is I just kind of like ask the audience to shout out a random topic. Yeah. And that sort of helps me. It sort of goes what. back into the memory banks and yeah. something comes out. Yeah, which is weird because I've kind of like got a bad memory, but when someone, you know, suggests something. Yeah. I can think of different <laughs> possibilities. And that takes some balls, I think, to stand in front of an audience and go, give me a topic. And they're pen pencils. And somewhere from the recesses <laughs> of your mind, you will be able to spit out a pencil joke. Yeah, well, uh, only if you're sharp, you know. Aye. Hey! <laughs> you see but, what he's doing, though? This is, this is quite remarkable. I mean, as you say, sometimes... You see, I live on this kind of garbage as well. <laughs> and, 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 and people might go... Oh, and roll their eyes, but it's like, but it's still amazing. You yeah. can still come out with something for every topic. I'm drawing you in now. <laughs> no, you do, you do get, um, you do get groans. You know when you do that sort yeah. of stuff, which I don't mind as much. But it's the people that go wee. Do you know what I mean? And they kind of like point. <laughs> wee. All right, yeah. I can't help but do that. Do you think then that it's? I've said this to Tim actually, and and to people like him. There, there are other. Uh, which is a slightly sim different vein, but s similar as well, that, that sort of f quick fire thing. Mm. I've sat down with Tim before and, and said, do you think you're a bit ill? <laughs> because it's almost like an affliction, isn't it? Well, you just described it like somebody talking and you're kind of almost listening for yeah. the thing. Well, there is, a, there is an illness called Forster's syndrome. I don't mm. know if you've heard of that, no. but that is, uh, that's an, I think it's a tumour or something, some sort of... Illness. This is an actual thing. I'm not. I'm not making this up. <laughs> waiting for the. There is no. Joke. This is serious. <laughs> um, but 
Yeah, there is an actual illness that makes you incessantly pun. Oh my uh, god! I've been emailed that a few times, but and you think I'm alright? You've had the scan, and it seems that you're alright. Scan, yeah. But the, but this it is quite remarkable, and and so your book Cheap Laughs is is lovely because it's it's because you, you start it was more illustrations. You're an illustrator as well. This yeah, is, this is like yeah. your basis, really, isn't it? Yeah, I started off. Uh, I think I studied illustration at uni. Um, yeah, and then kind of sort of, sort of doing puns, and then moved into pun joins from that. You know, because yeah, so. let, let me show Phil that one. That's quite a good one. Oh, that is good. Yeah. Battered cod. Battered cod. Just a mm. drunk, drunk <laughs> fish. Uh, you, you know, it's. But this is it. I, I f- for a while, Darren. I. It's almost like we're psychologically, psychically linked because. Well, I feel that every morning. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just feel like that we have there's an allegory here. Yeah, uh, I, I tried to do visual puns on the radio for a while, mm. and and what it was was just me really exhaustively describing a visual pun on the radio. Like for instance, I had a good one which was um, a, two um, shriveled uh, pieces of fruit um, with three D glasses on uh, in front of a big cinema screen. Yeah, date movie. <laughs> it's you just know. a figment of your imagination. Oh, figment! You see, he can't help himself. Well, a right pair. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, I do, I do drawings on stage as well. I just kind of like hold them up, and some of them are sort of, uh, how can I put it? They're kind of like animated cardboard drawings. So yeah. I've got one that's a dolphin. Yeah. But if you sort of slide it, yeah. it's a dolphin, and like <laughs> suddenly he's got a little moustache. I'm laughing already. And. Uh, the audience laugh <laughs> on porpoise. <laughs> on porpoise. Yeah. And so, how how long have you been doing live shows? Then you've been doing it for quite a while now. Uh, five years. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Man and boy. Man and boy. Yeah. And you are going to be uh, in. Well, this is exciting because we're going to be in Edinburgh together. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're there from the fifth all the way to the end of the month, aren't you? Yeah. The, the Pleasance below. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, how many have you done Edinburgh? You've done Edinburgh before, I take it. Yeah. The Free Fringe. Yeah. Uh, a couple of years beforehand. Um, but this is my first hour. Right, a so, full hour. And it's quite difficult because if you're a sort of storytelling comedian, I think an hour is a bit more doable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But when it's sort of like uh, a, a lot of puns and visual gags over the course of an hour, it's, it can be a bit like a, a maths test. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Um, so I've sort of broken it up, you know, with videos and things like that, yeah. uh, which I think works. I think okay. that, that's exactly again. It's you're right. If if you've got that kind of rambly style and it's observational and stuff, yeah. it, it must be a bit easier to do in a sense than than that yeah. quick fire. I think it it's, burns up a lot of energy, doesn't it? I imagine doing doing. Yeah, that. yeah. I think it's easier for the audience <laughs> when you're sort of you know they're, they're a bit more lax when you're sort of st- telling a story that sort of thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I mean, if you like one liners, you kind of know what you're getting yourself in for, really. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, it's it's highly amusing, and the, and the book, of course, is out in all good and disreputable bookshops right now, isn't it? It is indeed. Yeah. Um, if, please God, whatever you do, if you get a chance, get down to see Ponderbolt. It's at the Pleasants below, at the Pleasants Courtyard. Um, listen, Darren Walsh, thank you so much for coming and chatting to us today. Uh, absolute pleasure. <laughs>